This is the Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a very special Abus Titalium Model 83 AL45. What's special about this lock is that it has the restricted 888 cylinder. If you look at the keyway in that cylinder, you will see that it spells out the word Abus. A B U S. I know in the past I've shown you locks that have the miniature version of this core. However, I don't think I've ever shown you the full-size restricted keyway. So that's what we're going to try to pick open today. And then, of course, I will take it apart and show you what's inside. I'm using bottom of the keyway tension with a Sparrows medium wiper insert and the standard hook in 25 thousandths. Okay, got to click out of one. Another click and we dropped into a false set. Counter rotation on two, got him set. Counter rotation on three, got him set. Four, little counter rotation, got him set. Number five, counter rotation, and we lost our false set when I set him. So let's check the other pins and see if we can get it back. One, two, okay, click at a two, three, got to click there, four, five, one, two, three, four, not sure what's holding us up now, two, three, Okay, four, we dropped into our false set again. Let's take stock of where we are. One set, two set, three set, four set, five is set. That should leave number six, so let's try to set him very carefully. And there we go, got the lock open. Okay, let's take this guy apart and see what's inside. Okay, to disassemble this, it looks like we need a Phillips screwdriver. And now that that screws out, the core should fall out the bottom of the lock. Before we go any further, let me point out that we have this small Z-bar that fell out of the lock when we took it apart. It fits right on the back of the cylinder here. Let me get a pair of tweezers so I can hold that a little better. It fits right on the back of the cylinder, and if it's in with the black dot facing up, that means the core is in the key retaining position, and if you put it in the other way, like this with the back black dot facing down, the lock is non-key retaining. It's a nice little feature that allows the user to select how the lock works. Okay, let's finish taking this guy apart. It looks like we need a C-clip remover. Okay, we got the C-clip off. And now we should need a key and a follower, and hopefully this lock will come apart. On the Abus 83 cores, before you can push the cylinder out, you need to press this small button down and, and move the core forward just a tiny bit. Now let's get our follower. Okay, let's drop these key pins out. Okay, number one being a bit shy. I guess all of them are. Let's get a pair of tweezers, see if we can help them out. Two, three, Four, five, and six. Okay, nothing unusual about these key pins. 
Let's get the driver pins out of here now. Number one is a lightly serrated pin. Two is a spool. I'm expecting to see spools in all of the rest of the chambers. If I don't, I'll be surprised. And I have to say, one thing that strikes me as I'm taking this out is these springs feel particularly strong, stronger than any springs I felt in previous Abus 83 cylinders. Um, and I don't know if these are different. I'd have to take another one apart, but, um, but they certainly feel stronger than anything I've encountered in these cylinders before. So I'll have to investigate that later. Okay, let's get the key here and then I will give you a close-up of all these pins. Okay, all of the key pins are standard. Then for our driver pins, we have a serrated pin in slot one, and then five spools in slots two through six. Moving over to the core, let's see, we can see our six pin chambers. We have some drill protection in between slots one and two and two and three. There's a small hole next to slot four. I, I guess that's probably to allow for construction keying. And then nothing else unusual about this core. Of course, the, the real show with this cylinder is the restricted keyway that spells out the word ABUS. It's a bit of a gimmick, I'd have to say, just because it's not a particularly hard keyway to navigate just seems like Abus wanted to do something interesting and they certainly succeeded. Okay, that's all I have for you on this Abus Titanium Model 83 AL45 with the 888 cylinder. If you do have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.